also, if you look at the temperature distribution plot, looking from the top of the Alaska, there will be few uh, regions that will be super cool. This region will be very, very cool. And eventually, we lead up to this dash bubble. Uh, it is pretty much the region uh, that is very much deprived of the cooling air. And due to that, the hot air infiltration will occur at this particular region and disturb the whole entire function of the cold ion. Okay, in this again, four, it is all about the construction of ceiling fan. And uh, the ceiling points are introduced on top of the hot aisle and up there around with the opening rail from 25 to 100%. And similarly, I started with the build up of the crack with 20% extra. And I worked with that with 10% and 100% extra. And this is the illustration. We have data center with the ceiling. So hot aisle will uh, can easily get up on top, straight away on top of uh, the hot aisle. Uh, we see and this is the pattern, uh, whereas for all uh, three airflow rates, it is very clear that 100% ceiling opening shows the least SHI value. So uh, I can conclude that ceiling really 100% opening will reduce the least SHI. And uh, this is the explanation of all this. Uh, it is fairly easy to explain if we look at the hot tech infiltration looking at the left hand side and the right hand side photos. Because uh, if you have 25% opening of the grill, uh, I could say the hot air is, uh, the hot air will be restricted to enter the, the extraction point on top of the hot pile because 25% opening is very small. And if you look at the, the airflow rate per unit time, it's gonna be much less compared to the right hand side. And due to that, the accumulation of the hot air will need to queue up before they will get sucked by the extraction point, or located on top of the hot aisle. And the accumulation of the hot air will eventually um, infiltrate to the cold aisle and affect the function of the cold aisle. The right hand side, uh, still there is a hot air infiltration, but it is not as bad as the left hand side. This is uh, much more serious compared to the right hand side. And this is the comparison because uh, I just like to see whether or not that a center with the ceiling uh, written at plenum will give the benefit or not. So I just compare with uh, the left hand side is data center with the ceiling and the right hand side with no ceiling. And surprisingly, it turns out that data center with no ceiling shows a better, a, a, a less amount of SHI and therefore uh, I could conclude here that a center without the ceiling pattern will have uh, a better performance. And this is the investigation file. Uh, basically, this is uh, based on the reading that I've met. Um, there are couples of a bunch of experts that suggest uh, aligning the crack units with the hot aisle will definitely improve the data center performance. And since this statement is claimed to, to, to give benefit to the data center, Therefore, I just reduce the total build of the crack to be exactly equal to the build of the crack. So this time, there will be uh, no extra. And since the ceiling rated as is not beneficial at all, I just remove that out. And it turns out nine possible designs uh, will be tested separately. And these are the location when the crack unit outlined with the hot iron. All right. And this is the result when the design is has the longest SHR at the position as follows. Position three for crack one and position five for crack two. And this is the comparison uh, between uh, investigation five, investigation four, and investigation three. And what happened is that it is a significant reduction in terms of SHI value, whereas uh, for the fifth investigation, the lowest SHI is obtained, uh, the lowest SHI is 0.1402. And a landing crack units with the hot idle can basically improve the SHI by 15%, particularly for my study. And this is the conclusion that I can make. A uh, lowest sublimate temperature can only be obtained when the crack units are placed near the hot idle, and this is based on uh, investigation one. 
And secondly, it is very difficult to obtain a desired supply with temperature for the crack if the power of the crack again is exactly equal to the rack's heat dissipation rate. So what happens is that we better add more power onto the crack unit so that we can obtain the desired temperature. And uh, investigation 3 has proven as well uh, there will be better effluent from the 25% perforated valves. And cylinder written at temperature it is not always improve the data center performance and it is evident in my study that I have shown. And lastly, a landing with crack in it with hot IO will definitely never to reduce the SHI and consequently uh, will increase the performance of one particular data center. And the, this will be my references and I would like to thank Professor Mazzabena and Dr. Nari for their help, for the suggestion and also for the recommendation. Any questions?